my spaceship series in the design presented by man tim lee march 2017 my name is man tim lee i am 65 years old living in singapore i am a retired engineer experience in electromechanical repair and maintenance of steam sterilization equipment in hospitals. I wish to share with the knowledge seekers that I made a personal spaceship as per photograph. I achieved space travel at the fuel plasma level Presentation done in December 2016, uploaded to the internet in April 2017, YouTube. Here are the theories associated with the design. I wanted my spaceship to be in cigar shape. The chamber has to be rectangular. A double cube shall make a rectangular cigar shape. I used the double pyramid configuration as inspired by Mr. Cash in a 96 Knowledge Seekers workshop that a star formation in tetrahedron form makes free plasma. A pyramidal formation is a special case of star formation. In my design, with a shared double pyramid as the spaceship chamber, I need to use six coils at the bottom and two coils at the top. Total eight coils required. I made eight cylindrical solenoids with the ends wires to flip outside as magnetic. Another eight cylindrical solenoids with the end wires to flip inside as gravitation. I wanted to keep the cylindrical solenoids short length at 150 mm. I could wind three times of nine equal to 27 turns each. 27 turns times 1.6 mm wire diameter times two equal spacing equal to 86.4 mm within the 150 mm specified. I chose my spaceship coils to be in open cylindrical solenoids that I can spread out the 27 turns to facilitate heat blower nano coating. Then sodium hydroxide NaOH nano coating, light McGrath coils. Cylindrical solenoids connected to alternating current AC. It shall form it like monopole electromagnets or anti gravity levitation coils. When wheeled on its top, a counterclockwise winding. The current goes in first. The cylindrical cylinder produces alternating north-south NS field in AC. When viewed from its bottom, the current comes out first. The AC produces alternating south-north SN field. To an observer, the cylindrical cylinder is always back to back. NSSN, that's analogous to a monopolar field. On the internet, I found illustration videos, Boy Bushman on anti-gravity, navigation of an electromagnetic coil using AC induction on a aluminum plate to support this AC magnetic idea. When alternating current AC pass through the magnetic coils, the magnetic field, I expect the magnetic field to cover up to one solenoid length, 
150 mm on both ends into the chamber. So there would be four columns of magnetic field from chamber bottom. One column extend down 150 mm, so it covers one pyramid space. And the magnetic interaction give rise to free plasma in the chamber. The shared double pyramid cover the whole chamber with free plasma. These are plastic bottles as coil support for my spaceship. These are the wood frames that I made to provide space for my spaceship chamber and for support so that the magnetic field can develop around the solenoids not to be blocked by the wall, not to be blocked by the table surface. The chamber overall dimensions are 300 mm length, 145 mm width times 130 mm height. The rest of the drill holes for the solenoid spacings were done by taking midpoints here and there. The vertical height was one was 230 mm to keep my spaceship above the table surface, not to impede the magnetic field. My concern was to keep the pyramid in square base, 150 mm as the base. Equilateral hypotenuse also 150 mm. Therefore, 150 times sine 60 degrees equal to 129.9 mm. That was how I came up with 130 mm as the height of the wood frame. The rest of the positions of the coils was to give way spacing for wire connections. I end up with having a pyramid of 130 mm as the base. The lift solenoids, n equal to 27 turns. H equal to 27 turns times 1.6 mm diameter times two equal spacing equal to 86.4 mm equal to 0.0864 meter. Bound the radius equal to 6 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.03 meter. Inductance L equal to mu naught times n squared divided by h pi r squared. Substituting into formula L equal to 30 mu h. When connect to 50 hertz source, the reactance is xl equal to j times 2 pi 50 times 30 mu equal to j 0 0.009425 ohm. When this solenoid is to connect to 25 volt 50 hertz AC, the current is equal to 25 divided by J 0 0.009425 and is equal to minus J 2652.5 this current is too high, is not suitable for direct connection to 25 volt AC. Remember the complex number property, I square equal to minus one. J times J equal to minus one. Minus J times J equal to one. Minus J equal to one over J. Eight lift solenoids. 
liquid lip solenoids in series total reactance xt equal to 8 times j 0 0.009425 equal to j 0 0.0754 ohm current i equal to 25 divided by j 0 0.0754 equal to minus j 331.56 ampere. My home power wall socket can supply 13 ampere. This consumes 240 times 14.2531 equal to 3.42 kilowatt. So I need to use a 240 volt step down transformer to 25 volt. The transformer current equal to 25 divided by J 14.2531 equal to minus J 1.754 ampere. This is a more reasonable consumption. When I connect the eight lift solenoids to the transformer output, 25 volt AC 50 hertz, the voltage dropped to zero, indicated that the transformer was unable to supply 1.75.4 ampere calculated. So I added a plasma capacitor in series to the circuit. XCL equal to minus J 132.6291 mega ohm calculated before. And the capacitance was 24 picofarad. The combined reactance XCLXT is equal to minus J 132.6291. Plus J sixteen point eight three eight four equal to J one three two six two nine one one six point eight ohm. Current I equal to twenty five divided by J one three two six two nine one one six point eight equal to minus J zero point zero followed by five zeros, one eight eight ampere, equal to minus J zero point one eight eight mu ampere. Absolute of current equal to the square root of minus J zero point one one eight mu equal to zero point one one eight mu ampere. Total consumption twenty five volt times zero point one one eight mu ampere equal to 4.7 mu watt. This consumption is okay. This is the AC circuitry for my spaceship magnetic coils. The eight pieces magnetic lift coils have very low reactance. I need to use low voltage 25 volt AC supply from a 220 volt AC into 25 volt AC step down transformer. A plasma capacitor in series to keep the AC current low. The ductless configuration is to expand the magnetic gravitation field to provide a platform for my cup to energize my drinking plain water. Since AC is favorable for lift, the logical choice for gravitation would be direct current DC. A convenient source for DC is a 5 volt from a mobile phone power bank. DC has a linear relationship between voltage current and resistance, V equal to I times R. It makes it favorable for altitude control. 
when I connect this 5 volt DC to uh, 8 gravitational solenoids, the voltage also dropped completely. It lost my battery indication light. Power lost. So again, I connect a plasma capacitor in series for the circuit. In a solenoid, the inductance impedes current flow. It makes it difficult to measure its DC resistance with an ohm meter. I'm not too concerned about any possibility of solenoid burnout in this circuit as I am using 1.6 mm diameter wires. It can take up to 15 ampere DC current. This is the DC gravitational circuit for my spaceship. As so, alternating current AC magnetic is favorable for lifting. Direct current DC is used for gravitation, altitude control. A plasma capacitor in parallel with a mobile phone power bank plus infinite loop bank for recharge. The plasma capacitor gives the output an extra 0.27 volt DC, make it possible to recharge stay close to 5 volt DC output. Plasma capacitor for the battery. To make plasma capacitor for battery, I use aluminum foil, cooking type, heavy duty extra, size 30 cm times 45 cm. Double fold it down twice horizontally to make a finished 10 cm times 45 cm. In between the folding, I wore glove, brushed copper oxide gains with a spoon of sugar mixed onto the foil. Then snap the aluminum foil with gains, sandwiched it with two pieces of baking paper, size 20 cm times 50 cm, single folded down to 10 cm times 50 cm. Place a zigzag electrode in between the aluminum as negative electrode for increased electrode contact with the aluminum. These baking paper sandwiched aluminum foil shall wrap around the power bank. The outer wire 1.6 mm to wind into nine turns as the positive electrode. Modify an USB cable to run the power bank in parallel with the battery capacitor. Plug it back for recharge in an infinity loop. One full charge lasted two weeks. The fun drive, I wanted it to be round shaped in as any vehicle maybe. So I spread a 81 turns McGrath coil into a semicircular as fitted. AC magnetic for shielding, driving DC for gravitational braking. The rear drive, I wanted it to be analogous to a propulsion drive. A 10 cm diameter magnetic fitted the purpose. AC magnetic as propulsion, DC gravitation for braking. To simplify the electrical connection, I chose to use electromagnetic induction via two 81 turns McGrath coils. Place it into the top lift coils to supply alternating current AC to the magnetic coils. 
the front top gravitational coils induce a voltage to the front drive. Plasma batteries are supplying DC to both coils. On top rear McGrath gravitation and to the front drive McGrath gravitation. See the circuit. These are the AC and DC circuits for my spaceship front drive and rear drive. T1000 Brown effect. The voltage difference or potential between front and rear drive was measured to be 1.6 volt AC. This potential difference, 1.6 volt AC, is insignificant to bring about physical matter state forward drive motion. It thus simulates a micro fraction. 1.6 divided by 100k equal to 0.16 mu of the T Townsend Brown effect. Plasma balls. In my spaceship design, the ping pong balls in which I put zinc oxide, carbon dioxide, copper oxide, and CX3 GANs, it is a great place to attach it to the lift solenoids. When powered with alternating current AC, the lift coils produce electromagnetic field. It shall flow through the balls, energize the GANs, encourage electron exchange, produce plasma. Externally, these balls look like antennas on top and the landing pads at the bottom. This is great for my spaceship design. My spaceship weight 2.5 kg. I used silicone to glue the balls onto the lift solenoids. The ping pong balls would dent on its weight and I need to keep the spaceship field 7 cm from the table it sits on. Therefore, I need the wood frame to support as in the drawing. Gans and spirituality. On the internet, I found this description. The characteristics of Gans that would connect the harvester to spirituality. When I harvested the GANs, I used a 50 ml syringe to suck up the GANs from the electrolysis bin. Then I transfer GANs to a empty jam jar. I noticed when I pressed the syringe to empty the GANs into the jar, I felt a subtle stream of flow, a cool feeling down to my midline 9 cm below my belly button to Dan Tian. The feeling was not very obvious, yet as I do more harvest, I felt the flow. Field plasma linkage. Eventually, about one month later, I saw in closed eye condition, four seconds before I opened my eyes to wake up, and these images confirm my linkage to the GANs plasma. 2016, September 21st, Wednesday. I saw a black fish. The two vertical lines were the walls of the GANs jar. At this date, I harvested CH3 GANs. Date 2016, September 22nd, Thursday. I saw a humanoid image, white color, in the shimmering brown media 
as in the copper oxide gains. The vertical lines are the walls of the gains jar. There were words displayed in Chinese. Direct translation was transformation. A soul was created in the copper oxide gains. These are my spaceship gains. Things to do. After I finish making my spaceship, AC and DC power on, I do my things around my spaceship. Initially, I do this daily. As my curiosity grows, maybe more often than usual. I make a wish, say to myself, go to Mars and come back, until I got image responses. I do cultivate with GANs, play with it, handle it, looking into the GANs jar. Put my arms to 1 cm above the ping pong balls to feel its cool plasma field. Look into my spaceship chamber. Put a cup of drinking plain water to the duct's configuration to energize my water for an hour or more. I drink the energized plain water. I do Chinese Qigong exercise in front of my spaceship. I do my study sitting beside the spaceship. 2016, October 10, Monday. Shortly before I awoke, I saw a white beam of light that encircled around the two ping pong ball filled with composite gains. Zinc oxide, copper oxide, carbon dioxide, CX3, and tap water. After the circle completed, there appeared an orb, a ball of light. As I could recognize it, these two coils were the top coils of my spaceship. 2016, November 18, Friday. I took a nap at 4 p.m. When I woke, I saw my water cup, which I put on the darkless configuration McGrath unit to energize my drinking water. There was a light which linked from my cup looped around the top liquid plasma ping pong ball then to my eyesight. The image and light receded to its actual position from my bedroom bed when my eyes opened. 2016, November 13, Sunday. This morning, I saw a spaceship zoom by. It was like flying at night. I asked myself whether I could see my own spaceship flying in space. So, I did a mapping of my spaceship field with an alternating current AC tester pan. The field could be detected some 3 cm 15 cm, 20 cm, and 30 cm away from the coils, and from the GANS liquid plasma ping pong balls. As the field mapping confirmed it, the spaceship in the previous slide was the answer. My spaceship that was. 2016 October 21st, Friday. Seconds before I opened my eyes to wake up in the morning, I saw a big crater. In the background, 
there was an overlap view of a blue-green mountain with vegetation. I am not able to draw photographic quality picture. I could find close match from the internet, YouTube, for the viewer to appreciate. There was a jet spray of water, a spring shot out from the crater. A truly stunning view. This image gave me a four second personal experience of space travel visit to Mars. 2016, December 26, Monday. This morning, I saw a satellite view from high above, looking down on a very long geological fault line, miles long, a crack line on the ground. In an elliptical spot, the light was brighter, showing in sandy yellow color, like a side of a canyon. My intention was go to Mars and come back. This image was space travel to Mars. From the internet, YouTube, I could find a photograph with similar geological feature on Mars. Date 2017, January 30th, Monday. This morning, I saw in close eye condition a flat horizon, white color on the ground. There were two grayish color conical shaped mountains in the foreground. Up on the black sky, there was an eclipse of planet Earth. Interestingly, the eclipse was downside up, converse of the moon eclipse. This image was space travel, visit to the moon. February 12, Sunday. This morning, I saw in closed eye condition a large white spaceship. Its aerodynamic curved surfaces spoke for itself. There was a dark black space background. In the mid section, it was like a convertible open spaceship that I could look to the other side of it. There was a pile of vertical squared rectangular stones. Two conical gray mountains. On the right, it was an atmospheric dome, wavy, not solid, covering to the peak, yet not fully covering the mountains. Planet Earth was in the view. After three seconds, it displayed in Chinese words, talk, record, valuable, collection. It, it meant to say, talk about it, record it. This is valuable collection. This image was scenery from the moon.
That was my spaceship video with no audio. Conclusion In my spaceship design, I have incorporated Mr. Cash concepts of free plasma in the chamber via a double pyramid shape. Boy Bushman anti-gravity concept using alternating current AC magnetic cylindrical solenoid to create lift. T. Townsend Brown electrogravitic effect for front and rear drive propulsion. Direct current DC for gravitation, altitude, speed, brake control. Ductless configuration for the fuel expansion platform to energize my drinking plain water and power off plasma state generator supply. Almond's connector idea for circuit connection. With a big capacitor, A equal to 10 cm times 400 cm and voltage 25 volt AC across the ductless configuration. The plasma field, magnetic field expand by 5 cm. My intention was to charge up the big capacitor. During the day when I turn on power to my spaceship, when power off at night to let this configuration function as a generator to continue to supply plasma state 0.06 volt AC voltage across to the leaf solenoids. Conclusion The key to succeed to achieve personal space travel experience for me is the use of GANs, zinc oxide, copper oxide, carbon dioxide, CX3, and water mixed as liquid plasma in the ping pong balls. The electromagnetic field flux flow through the lift coils, activates electron exchange, establish field plasma around my spaceship. I make my own GANs and in the harvesting collection process to establish field plasma linkage to create the soul connection. Attach my intention, wish, and emotion relation for the outcome. Make my wish, say, go to Mars and come back, to alert my subconscious to access the information contained in the field plasma. My spaceship its structure provides a big volume of free plasma in the chamber and around it. It is a scientific tool to the spaceship has the volume of field plasma to access space travel. I drink the energized plain water to bring the information from the free plasma to me. My spaceship material and parts cost was Singapore dollars 150, Euro 99. Time required was two months to nano coating, make GANs to build it. It is a simple setup. I encourage those interested in space to build it a personal spaceship. I wish this presentation to be helpful to the knowledge seekers. Those who are interested in space travel shall achieve the same and more. Thank you Mr. Cash for the public teachings. Thank you Armand for the connector idea. Thank you Douglas for the generator configuration idea. Thank you, Boy Bushman. Thank you, David Sarita. 
Thank you, Dion Henderson. Thank you, Leader Sapa. Thank you, Chris Dave 93. Thank you, Dr. Paul Laviolet. Thank you, Cinder Houtgen. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Knowledge Seekers. Thank you, my wife, Doris. Have a good day. Peace to the world.